So earlier this year, I tweeted us saying that interest rates, 30-year fix, could crack 10%. I talked about it on the podcast. I made videos about it. People said, you're out of your mind. This will never happen. You're crazy. Cannot believe you're saying this. You're spewing out all this fear porn. I said, look, guys, this is what I think is going to happen. We're in a weird economy. I think we're going to crack 10%. When I said that, a Dave Ramsey came out and posted this on his Instagram post to calm everybody down. Here's what Dave Ramsey said. So here's what he said on Instagram. He posted something about it on June 29. Now, keep in mind, the rates at that time were roughly 5%. He said the following. The housing market is not crashing. Inflation, recession, high interest rates, high fuel costs, labor market disruption, including the great resignation, supply chain shortages, bear market, and the hits keep coming. Are we heading for the end of the American economy? Is the housing market going to crash? Is this generation going to be priced out of the housing market and never be homeowners again? He says, no, no, no. The only one I want to talk about is the second one. Is the housing market going to crash? He said, no. He says, sorry to end your fear porn party, but the sky is really not falling. It's definitely scary. And some of the things going on truly do suck, but the sky is not falling. Now, keep in mind, I'm sure when the average realtor or loan officer reads this, they're like, oh my God, that's awesome. Dave Ramsey, you're on our side. It's fantastic. Thank you for posting something like this. You know, we need your support. But here's the reality of it. I don't want your support. I want the truth is what I want. Because when this was posted, June 29th, rates were roughly 5%. You know what the 30-year fix is today? Roughly 7.5%. It's gone up 50% on the 5%. 2.5% it's gone up since 5%. And it's only got another 25 to go to crack 10%. Now, people will say again, Pat, are you out of your mind? Let's do a little homework together. Here's how interest rates have been since 1970. And by the way, do you know what's the lowest 30-year fix has ever cracked? 2.65%. When do you think that was? Last year, okay? You think that's going to last forever. People were buying left and right thinking it's going to be, oh, my home value, it's a $3 million home. No, it's not. It's probably 1.7. We sold it for $3 million because rates were at 2.65. It is not a $3 million home at 7.5% interest rates. It's just not. Everybody today is selling their luxuries, their exotic cars, their planes, their boats. Just yesterday, got another yacht package coming up with new ones on discount. Yesterday, I'm at the airport looking at private jets. Do you know what numbers they're discounting it at? 50%. Global Express 5000, you know, G5, all these guys. Discount, discount, discount. Why? Because some of these guys bought one too many private. All the vacations home in Aspen right now. All these vacations home, people have a second one, third one, fourth one. Watch this. Here's rates. The last 50 years. Let's take a look at this together. All right, so take a look on 2021. It shows 2.96, right? The average 30 year for the year, 2.96. The year before, 3.1. 2019, 3.94, 4, 5, 4. You'll see a bunch of threes and fours, and you see five in 2009. Then you see sixes in eight, seven, six. Then you'll see fives again. Then you see sixes, 1994, 8.38%. Then you see a bunch of eights and nines. Then 1990, what do you see there? 10.13%, just 32 years ago. People have such a short-term memory. This was only 32 years ago. Then you go 1989, 10-3. Tell me one year between 74 and 1989 where the rates were lower than 8.85%. You don't see one year. By the way, look at 1980, look at 1979, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. Every one of those years, the average 30-year fix was over 10%. 11.2, 1979, 13.74, 16.63, 16%, 13.24, 13.88, 12, 10, 10, 10. What does this mean when we do our homework? When we actually do a little bit of due diligence and stop falling for this motivational post to make everybody feel good, everything's going to be okay. When I'm in the military, we're at war. I don't want my sergeant to come up to me and tell me, hey, guys, guess what? It's going to be fine. We're going to win this war. Yeah, they may attack us from all these other places, but we're going to be totally fine. No, I want my sergeant, my captain, my colonel, my sergeant major to be per- paranoid. I want them to say, if they attack us from here, we got to do this. This could happen, guys. You could get killed. You better stay alert, stay alive. That's the mindset. This is why in the world of business, outside of motivational speakers, in the real world of business, only the paranoid survive was a statement and a book written by one of the greatest CEOs of the past generation, Andy Grove, who everybody in Silicon Valley duplicated. So... Rates 10%. Maybe right now you say, man, the way patch is broken down, 10% are around the corner. What happens if rates go to 10%? What happens to $2 million value of a property being sold last year at 2.65, at $2, uh, at $2 million? What do you think that $2 million home is going to be worth when the rates hit 10%? 1.5? 1 million? 
oh, there's no way it's going to drop 25%. There's no way it's going to drop 50%. Okay, we'll see. Maybe I want to be wrong. I'm very comfortable with not being wrong, with being wrong. But when you print as much money as America's printed that we did the last couple of years and we put fake success into the economy, people actually think they're better than they really are. People actually get fooled into thinking they're smarter than they really are. They're brilliant brokers. They're brilliant this. And anytime you become a little too cocky, you lose. Yesterday, Dylan had a 150-point lead on me on uh, uh, the dominoes while we're playing. And he's talking trash to me. I said, Dylan, be very careful being cocky because you're playing against somebody that knows what they're doing in dominoes. You know how the night ended? Daddy whooped his butt and enjoyed it. I'm trying to persuade this kid to believe. Don't get cocky. Your daddy knows how to be cocky. I lost a lot in my 20s being cocky. I learned. Only the paranoid survive. So watch what Yahoo Finance says today in an article. Let's take a look at what's going on in Las Vegas because Las Vegas is the leading indicator of what happens to real estate. You ready for this? Let's read this together. Las Vegas is one of the leading indicators for home price action in the housing market like we saw in 2008 and the recent frenzy. We are absolutely feeling the heat here. The buyer pool has, for the most part, dried up, says Kristen Rifle, a real estate agent in Las Vegas, tells Fortune. Now, look at the next one here at the bottom. In fact, as of last week, mortgage purchase applications are down, you ready? 38% a year-over-year basis. That marks the lowest reading since 2014. Next page, look at this one here. Realtors are feeling it big time as well. I put in a call to Greater, uh, Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, and the employee I spoke with said that they, are, they were averaging about 300 new members every month, new realtors meaning. This month, she has estimated 120. However, she has been processing, you ready for this? About 30 realtors withdrawals a day, Rifle says. That means every day, around 30 real estate agents in Las Vegas alone are calling it quits. I wonder why. And by the way, this is just Las Vegas. This is not all across the country. And these are some people that were making two, three, four hundred thousand dollars a year income that are sitting there saying everything's dried up. People are not buying new homes. Mortgage is not going there. So now here's a couple things that could happen. All those people that were saying this is just fear porn, you're like you're Dave Ramsey, don't worry about it, it's gonna be all right. Of course, long term everything's gonna be all right. Of course. Uh, long term, we're gonna be fine. This isn't a long term conversation. The market does fine long term. Dow's been up long term. The housing value's been up long term. All that stuff's been fine long term. But in the current times, this could last a year to two years, maybe two and a half years. Elon Musk said since till spring of 2024 is what he thinks recession's gonna last through. Who does that hurt? The people that were not ready for this season and they heard the wrong opinion because it's selective hearing. Just please tell me stuff I want to hear. I don't want to listen to what Pat's got to say because that's fear point. Just please tell me what I want to hear. And we avoid wanting to hear reality. And this game can be an ugly game when all you want to hear is good news. So having said that, for some of you guys that are still sticking around, I don't know if it's going to hit 10%. I'm convinced it will. I'm convinced it could go higher than 10%. And I'm convinced the next two years is going to be very ugly. I'm convinced everything's going to be on sale in 2023. I'm convinced after midterms, things are going to be very strange. I'm also convinced the day after 2024 election, Dow's going to have its biggest year, biggest single day ever. I'm convinced s and is going to have its biggest day ever after 2024 November elections. I'm convinced of that, but that's two years from today. So if you're watching this and you say, I still disagree with you, totally fine. I made a video two months ago, three months ago talking about why I believe the real estate market bubble is really taking place. If you've not seen it, you may want to see it. And you can ask me any questions you want on Twitter and say, Pat, I disagree with you in the following things. And we can have a conversation. You can tweet me at Patrick Bay David. I'll respond. If it's a respectful comment, I'll respond to you. But I suggest you watch this video a little bit deeper if you want to find out what's really going on behind closed doors when you look at the real estate market, what indicators you and I should be paying attention to. Having said that, future still looks bright long term but it's going to be a little bit rocky short-term the next 12 to 24 months.